Hey, I'm Krista Wax. You are listening to MSP Sound on KFAI, and I'm so excited. I have King Perry here via Zoom. Hey! Hey, what's up? Hey, you two. I'm so happy that you could join me. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. Why don't you each take a second and introduce yourselves and kind of what you do within King Perry. Yeah, uh, I'm Joe. I do the production, uh, the instrumental production of the music. So, and then, uh, yeah, just make the sounds and then Cameron sings on it. And then, yeah. Yeah, I'm Cameron Kinghorn. I do vocals uh, on the King Perry stuff and the vocal production. And uh, then Joe and I, Sometimes both write lyrics together for songs. Sometimes I'll write lyrics for songs uh, on my own, but kind of a mix, mix and match. Pick what you will. <laughs> you throw a dartboard, like you have like a dart to see it with all the different roles, and that's yeah. what everyone does. Several dartboards. <laughs> We're constantly yeah. throwing darts at. <laughs> It's just pictures of us and whoever it hits. Yeah. It has to be that thing. Yeah. So. <laughs> no. yeah. It's amazing that you knew that actually. No one no one knew that about the band. So <laughs> yeah. I have a I have just like a weird sense for those kinds of things. I could just feel it that there's a dartboard involved. <laughs> yeah. So tell me how this project got started. I'm hearing that this is kind of an accident. Um, if this was an accidental, you know, band here, that's the best accident I've listened to. Like, that's <laughs> amazing. How did this happen? Um, yeah, we, uh, Cameron and I have been affiliated and played in some groups together. We were in a, like, 90s R&B cover band together and uh, played a lot of shows with our individual bands together um and then just yeah when i i had just got a tape machine and like a drum machine and a bass so i wasn't really producing before that but i was just kind of like making stuff and putting it through my tape machine and i just texted over to cameron one day and i was like we should just like i don't know get together yeah see what happens and yeah and then that we got together and then it was just instantly like, oh, this is fun, you know? And we wrote the song Sunshine, which is out basically the first, yeah, it was like the first time we ever got together. That's the song that we created. And mm -hmm. then we were like, oh, I, eventually, you know, two songs later, it was like, is this a, is this a band, you know? <laughs> so yeah. yeah, then he moved in and we got married. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> things are going really well yeah well lovely <laughs> but yeah but we do live together yeah <laughs> and there's lots of dark boys <laughs> <laughs> that's all i mean what more could you want that's yeah. perfect yeah totally yeah. yeah um but yeah yeah it was like and yeah an accident in the sense of like uh We'd never, we'd done a lot of music making together, we'd never written music. And then, uh, yeah, just kind of like tripped into a thing that, that was like music that both of us felt like it was like, oh, this is like music that we've been wanting to make for a long time, but it had never like come into it totally in the, in the way. And then, um, like as soon as Joe sent me some demos, I was like, what is this? Like, I, I want to be involved in this. Uh, so anyway, yeah, it all it all worked out. Well, very cool. So you have so there's been a couple singles come that have come out, including Sunshine, and, and you still have a couple more singles. But there's an album that's now coming out in August. How exciting! You started. I mean, was this? Did this come about a little bit easier, quote unquote, because of COVID? Or was this always the plan just to kind of like get an album and get that going? Um, yeah, so we, uh, 
it was always the plan. So we we finished actually, basically like the, the time everything's been kind of wild. But we finished recording the the EP before COVID, and then COVID happened, and we were like, well, let's like wait. You know, like putting out. It just didn't feel right to put it out um, at the time, and uh yeah we just wanted to wait and we wanted to make sure that we did it right and then like by waiting then we were able to connect with um acrophase records and people's potential unlimited uh and so we're releasing the album with those two labels and it just kind of like all kind of worked out and made sense uh the way that we ended up doing it but yeah i guess it was like when we started there was no there was no expectation for it to be anything and then once we started writing and had like a couple songs recorded it was like started to be like oh this is gonna this can be like a nice package like ep uh that we can release once the time is right yeah yeah it's all the whole ep is going to be animated so all the song songs we've released so far have animations well one is gonna have one soon um yeah but it's a whole kind of like yeah package as Cameron described so very cool I yeah I I I mean I know a lot of people have been recording during this time and was that just kind of was it hard just to put the album on hold I mean it, it sounded like you know that was the right thing that you felt to do like let's just hold off let's just see what happens but was it tough just sitting on it did you keep tinkering I want to know if you kept tinkering with the album or with the songs during that time you really could just like let it sit on the shelf and be like okay this is take a breath and wait yeah, it, it for the most part just sat on the shelf. There was one song we like made the vocals less reverby, but that was it. Um, we've been working on like the album now, so because this is an EP coming out, okay. just been focusing on that, getting the next thing out. But this just felt like if we would have tinkered with it, I feel like it would have lost its thing because it's very, it's very like us not knowing what we were doing was such a huge part of the sound of it, you know? So like, I don't wanna go back and change that time time and place vibe, you yeah. know? Like, it just worked. It was yeah. like the, not knowing what you're doing helps you not overthink, you know? So mm -hmm. I want yeah. it to sound like that. Yeah, we like, it's funny cause it's like, there's things that were and weren't intentional, but it's like one thing that was intentional was trying to like, not overthink things and not like be meticulous about like oh is this thing exactly in the right place or is like you know it was like we caught a vibe and then like put it down and basically that like captures like lyrically and musically everything and like captures I don't know like a technically like a year period but like most of the songs were recorded in like a six month period probably Something like that maybe a little yeah. longer but um yeah like and then once it was done it's like if we had gone back to like like mess with stuff too much it would have felt like we would have lost lost the vibe that we we're really trying to capture i get that i respect that i i don't know if i would have been able to keep something on the shelf that long i feel like i'd be like oh, i think I could do this a little bit better, but I get it. I get you wanting to keep that vibe. That's very cool. I really, I like that. That it just makes me like listening to the music even more. Like it's uh, just a great vibe and a good time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what else is happening? So you have a couple singles coming out, like about one a month. You just had one released. Was that last week? I can't keep yeah. track of time. What's it last week? Yeah. Oh, yeah. A long it was time ago. Three years ago, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm oh, no. way behind. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Last week, and then a different single that's actually not going to be on the EP, Come Inside, came out like a month before that. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, going forward, we got another single. And then another single, and then the EP comes out. Yeah. So, and all the animations and 
hopefully get some touring on the in the books and yeah just kind of seeing as the world opens up yeah and spreading our wings very exciting I love that. Tell me a little bit more how this animation like came to be. Was that always part of the plan or is this another accident? Is this another like genius accident <laughs> y'all did? Uh, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> well, so it was basically like we finished Sunshine and then both individually had like <laughs> these like a visual like saw the, the music as something visual and like colorful and like an animation and then we like talked about it and then it was like yeah you know me too yeah and I was like oh sweet and then I had a very specific animator in mind I didn't know who it was but it was the person who did a static panic video and I like found the video and then Joe I think you had found Jake on Instagram and then I was like that's the guy I'm talking about <laughs> uh, and it's this guy named Jake Puffcut and uh, yeah we just reached out to him and he was super down to, to do it and <clears throat> we started with Sunshine and then we were like yeah like it would be really cool to have this thing be like a fully realized conceptual animation album just because like the music felt like it really like would be perfect for something like that and now that we have the whole thing it's sweet mm -hmm. it's like seven animated videos it's like 20 whatever 20 something minutes long uh and it's all within one world so like you basically created a world and uh they're all little vignettes from within that world which is really cool Wow. That's so exciting. That's awesome. That's you two are just a little too in sync. Like, <laughs> I mean that as a compliment that came out as an insult and I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. You two yeah. are just perfectly matched. <laughs> yeah. the, project, the project just works too well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're just a little too good at what you're doing. So I'm trying to say. No, no. <laughs> I love it. What a fun concept and just like something a little different than what, you know, anybody's doing at this time as well, like locally. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. How fun. Mm -hmm. So any, like you have done some performances or some socially distant or some live stream too, right? Mm -hmm. During this time or. Yeah, we are. Well, it will be at aired this will be aired after but on saturday we're doing a festival for the current um called sounds like home so we recorded like four videos so you can check that out in the past um <laughs> yeah but, uh, <laughs> i don't know <laughs> we're, we're in the future but we're i don't know i yeah, i can't even talk about regular time let alone try to wherever we are yeah it's, it's so. deep it's deep it's like Mm -hmm. oh. um but yeah yeah we did uh <laughs> so we did some performances we did some like live streaming on instagram which was fun some like dj sets where we uh spun some vinyl uh and uh we also did a drive-in car show that was like the wildest <laughs> it was like in the rain this is in september um and that was I've never done that. We like yeah. played and there's like cars and they would like honk at you when a song was done. Yeah, uh, we got a interesting review on the show from like a <laughs> Alexandria like 60 year old lady. Yeah. We weren't her cup of Malbach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all this I need to say. Yeah, this yeah. wasn't bad. This wasn't bad. <laughs> That's yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Mm. But uh but yeah, <laughs> greatest, greatest re review we've ever got. Yeah. It's really great. Uh, but uh, yeah, outside of that, like, I guess we did that rooftop thing too downtown, which was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, that was fun. But um, yeah, we're just like looking ahead at, at different things. And actually, uh, I don't know if you know this, we uh, relocated 
to Los Angeles. So that's actually where we are currently is in Highland Park in Los Angeles. Um, <laughs> and uh, Break yeah. news. Um, yeah. I'm not sure. Maybe it isn't for other people. I feel like a little bit for me, but oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, we had, it's like been one of, it's like people are kind of like, we're kind of filling people in as we, as we go. But uh, yeah, we've been out here and um, actually just did a DJ set at uh, the gold line, which is Stone Star Records bar uh, last Friday. And yeah, we're just trying to make, make some, Make, make some friends and make some connections here and and uh kind of see what what comes of things but yeah but we're, we're, you know we're gonna be back and forth and especially as the world comes back around mm -hmm. well very ex i feel like i have a million questions now about california um <laughs> do you think i could do the same thing how do i do this no <laughs> yeah. absolutely yes yeah yeah i bet the weather out there is perfect for tight roping yeah yeah what do you think yeah it's i i mean to be honest like any weather come on <laughs> let's go it's yeah if you love it enough <laughs> Anyway, this is just right. Yeah. <laughs> well, fabulous. That's so cool. I know we have a couple transplants from a couple other transplants from Minnesota music scene that have ended up relocating out in LA. Are you like, now it's just me being nosy. What? Are you know, meeting up with anybody else? Anyone? Or are you all just kind of doing your own thing out there? So, <laughs> so far, not so much. Uh, just because, you know, we went through a wild kind of wave of like, we got here and then COVID became uh, like the worst it was in the world. And that was kind of like, all right, like, we're just going to shut it down. We're going to just stay, uh, stay in the house mostly. And, um, but yeah, since things are starting to, are definitely like a lot more relaxed here, um, with the virus and everything we're just starting to kind of think about that but like yeah there's there's a several different um people that we've been meaning to hang out with i mean there's some people that i mean you spent some time with elliot and yeah my know? brother he's lives in minneapolis but he comes out here a lot he's a producer by simon p-s-y-m-u-n so, oh oh yeah. oh my gosh yeah that's Woo. my brother yeah okay. <laughs> him a bit or when he's out here mm -hmm. so that's always nice wow miss out with music and whatnot mm -hmm. yeah i think things will we did at that dj set and just getting a taste of like what life is like here outside of the pandemic and it's been exciting you know so it's been really good I'm sure, I'm sure, like, I'm not sure when you all moved out, but I know, like, LA had some very high, scary numbers for a while with COVID, so that must have been just, like, a tough time to move yeah. out there, and, but, I mean, you did it, no. you're still alive, yeah. I didn't mean to go that dark, I mean, you're still doing well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 a lot, I mean, it's not dark, we're alive, okay, it's good, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it's yeah, it's nice out here. I'm sure. Sorry, I'm still just processing all this. I'm like, hmm, uh, are you like on a group text with people from Minnesota to LA? Like, what's happening? I mean, it doesn't yeah. sound like it. I yeah. can you put me on the group text too? I just yeah, 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 like, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. We took a ship here. <laughs> it's, yeah, not that hard. Yeah, it's, it was like Lake Superior, <laughs> all the way around the world. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, pretty sweet. <laughs> it like, it has like a secret portal that like opens up and then brings you right to. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. Just That's has cool. like a house is set up for you. It's just cool. Yeah, <laughs> just drops you right in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want the name of this company. Then I would like. <laughs> it's I would called like, Spirit. <laughs> 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 they're, they're boat services yeah yeah it's even worse actually yeah 
<laughs> you can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> you can't imagine that's the that's the rough part yes okay well good to know take caution yeah in doing yeah. that <laughs> well awesome so you're hanging out in la things are opening up singles dropping left and right animation is coming along and ep coming out in august and you also said there's an album yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're working on a full length. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, it's in the works and super stoked. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's cool because it's like again, like the EP has a sound. All the songs in the EP, it's like shit, a sound. Um, especially like you know, like sonically and like the like quality of everything, and then like. There's a little similar, it's like definitely the King Perry vibe, but like definitely like this whole like is starting to come together and has like its own its own uh vibe for sure. There's, there's some stuff out there that's yeah pretty good. <laughs> mm-hmm. That'd be cool to expand on the EP, you know, more uh, like songs to show different styles and whatnot, you know. Don't have to worry about having too much of one thing or you can spread it out, you know. So mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. That's very cool. It's very exciting. So we get this EP out in August and then we're gonna get an album soon after whenever mm-hmm. that is. That's okay if you don't have a date. I'm not pressing for a date. I'm just like, oh, <laughs> we have some new music, and then there's gonna be more new music. That's all that I care about. It's just like yeah. yay. Mm-hmm. Definitely don't have a date for that, but um, one day we'll have a date. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be a good day. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever that is. We'll let you know what that day is yeah. so that you can be ready for the day. <laughs> Great. I cannot wait. I will start a countdown clock and everything. I will be on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So where can people get your EP? I know it's a couple months out, but will it be on all the streams, Bandcamp? What are there going? Is there going to be? Uh, I know some of your singles are released on vinyl. Get, what's happening? Yeah, you can get it. It will all be on every streaming service, um, and then uh, yeah, vinyl. We have a twelve-inch single out, and then we have. Um, a 45 single out as well so sunshine on 45 and then come inside has a 12 inch so mm-hmm. you can get grab that now we got t-shirts i think on Bandcamp still we have a t-shirt mm-hmm. um yeah but yeah it'll be on your you know just type it in google it yahoo and everything is past jeeves past jeeves oh my gosh yes <laughs> SGs, why not? Quest us, whatever you want. <laughs> I might map quest you. Let's just, I want to see what comes up. Like, what is that? What's gonna happen? <laughs> not type her name in the yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is that gonna lead me to the portal from Lake Superior to LA if I type? Yeah. Is that a secret? You take yeah. okay. I cracked it. I knew. I knew I'd figure it out. You'll be ready though when you do it because the uh, no going back. There's no going back, and it's a bumpy ride. Mm -hmm. It's a bumpy ride. No, you don't get free water either. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. All right. That's that's a lot. That's asking a lot, but I'm committed. I'm committed. (laughs) These are twelve (laughs) dollars. worst <laughs> and you may or may not get a seat along the way i'm gonna yeah, right. yeah. stand yeah. that's, that's assumed. Assumed. that's assumed. yes <laughs> <laughs> okay it's a lot to think about and consider yeah. mm-hmm. uh well awesome king perry thank you both so much for joining me yeah thanks for having yeah. us absolutely best of luck i'm so excited 
Well, I have, okay, sneak peek, everybody. I have heard the EP. It's awesome. You will love it. A couple more singles dropping in the next couple months with the EP coming out in August along with animation Mm -hmm. on all the streams in Bandcamp. Every stream. Got it. Every stream. Every stream. (laughs) (laughs) Well, so happy that you guys are doing well. Thank you. In, in another state or in another time zone. No wonder it looks so light wherever it is you are. It's a little dark and gloomy here mm-hmm. tonight. That explains. I was like, that does not look like 